What year was that? That was 87, I think, that I bought that option. Yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it. I think you had two at the time, and you sold I them. I did, it, and the one that I sold you was the one my girlfriend, Aaron Valdez, went to American Music and bought me, um, and she put it on her credit card. She said, all you got to do is make the payment. I guess that's... I guess you finally did when you sold it to me then. <laughs> maybe. I don't think that even uh, happened. Maybe, maybe, I'm, I'm uh, pretty sure that didn't happen. It, maybe we she should... was really... Sorry, Aaron. Uh, with me. Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> but yes, you sold me my first Marshall long, long ago. And I, actually, that 100 watt, the 50 watt Marshall is one of the things that... Um, so when I was in Doctor Unknown, um, old timer Seattle people remember something called the Pang Warehouse Fire, which Doctor Unknown, our bass player, knew Martin Pang, who was these stepson yes. of Harry and Mary Pang who ran, ran Pang's Frozen Foods, right. which was a common supermarket, one of the first supermarket frozen Asian food things, I think, in America. Down in Chinatown. Down in Chinatown. And since our old bass player, Derek Peace, knew Martin, we rehearsed in the spare room in their warehouse. And I came to rehearsal one day, and the building was on fire. Oh, shit. Oh. Um, well, it's a really terrible story because ultimately four firefighters died in that fire that was a big ass It was a fire. big deal. People died. He, it was he, he, cool. uh, he fled to Brazil. It was on America's right. Most Wanted. They finally, they finally picked him up. Extradited him. So I got there in time, and I see smoke coming out of the building. So I, fuck, feel yeah. the door, go in the building, start grabbing gear out. And one of the things I grabbed was that Marshall head, my Les Paul, my SG, all of which I still play. Um, and then the smoke level kept dropping. And then pretty soon I'm crawling in the building. Looking for... Uh, Leave Carol's. the cabinets. Leave the cabinets. Jeff Carroll's okay. I lost a nice high watt cabinet in that fire, but I got out one piece, so I have nothing to complain about. Thank God. I start crawling in the building looking for the Les Paul, and I'm like, fuck this. I need to get... <laughs> got, got out of the building, and the moment I get out of the building, the fire breaches the wall, and all of a sudden, all the electrical connections start sparking and shit. I'm like, fuck! That's, and that's I back goddamn my scary. 78 LTD2, which is half loaded, and the trunk lid's like flapping as I back up this this dirt driveway almost hit the firefighters first pulling in and I get it parked on the street. And before they close the scene, I sort of run around on Dearborn, run down the hill, grab the other gear I'd left on the ground. And I'm still playing that 51 head. Came out of that fire, so.